Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And this is, of course, one of the videos in our series in the settings of Windows 10. We are going to learn every little bit of the settings of Windows 10, what they mean and what you do. So you'll have a complete uh, roundup of the settings. So in all settings, our first settings is in the system tab and we go into display which is the first setting at the top. Now, one of the things I want to mention is that in settings, some of you will have different settings than I do, and that is normal. So some of the things I'll say might not apply to certain users. Others will have exactly the same thing as I have. First, what do we have in display? On the right side, a screen. That screen is showing you with the displays that you have. So if you have only one computer, one monitor, a laptop, you'll have only one screen available here. But if you plug in a second screen, you'll see that there are more than one screens here. Uh, so multiple screens will show up here as multiple squares like this one that will show you which display. Now you can identify a display, it gives you a number, so each monitor, if you have more than one display, will have its own number. You'll know which one to choose for specific tasks. Maybe you've plugged a screen, nothing is happening. You can click detect. Detect will check if there's something else. As you see here, it says display not detected. This is checking out my HDMI port on my laptop computer. The HDMI port of course, would give me a extra output for another screen. And actually, I've used that a few times. And so now it says not detected. One word here, uh, sometimes on some computers, and my computer is one of those, the display adapter has its own um, settings. So when you plug in the screen, this display setting will not actually work. You have to go into your specific setting of your adapter. So um, in my case here, I've got a uh, Catalyst Control Center because I've got an AMD Radeon graphics card in this laptop. So that's where the settings are going to be instead of where we do it in Windows. But typically, if you have a very more of a basic uh, adapter or something that doesn't have its own control center, uh, of course, you can use Windows to do so. This is sad, honestly, because it's, um, you know, giving different options. And I did have to help people with that because they didn't know that there was a control center that replaced Windows settings. And, you know, uh, I wish companies would understand that leave Windows with its basic settings. If you want to add a control center for more settings, it's okay, but Windows should have the basic control so that every computer would be the same. That would be much better. Here you've got change the size of text, apps, and other items. It's a slider, so you can slide from you know 100%, which is normal, to 125. Some of you will have 150, 175. It all depends on the size of your screen. So the higher the resolution your screen can support, the more settings they'll have here. So you can go up to, on some screens, up to 200%. It all depends on your screen. Then you've got orientation. This changes the orientation of your screen, basically. For example, if I click portrait, you'll see that if I apply settings, my screen is now sideways. Um, here, I'm going to revert back. And it's actually very difficult to uh, understand how to uh, go back. Here we go. So um, not all displays will have this, but it's one of the settings. If your screen is upside down or something is happening, there's a setting here. Uh, on some Intel computers, uh, you can also use the uh, control alt, I believe it's control alt and the arrow keys that will change everything. Brightness level of your screen. Uh, this has an effect on screens that are attached to the device. So if you have a laptop, 
the this, the brightness level will work. If you have a tablet, brightness level will work. If you have a desktop and a separate screen, don't play with this. This setting does not do anything. Brightness levels on separate screens are on the screens themselves. A lot of people don't understand that. And finally at the bottom, advanced display settings, if you click here, will give you uh, a little more information including your screen resolution and the possibility to change this resolution. The recommended setting is always the one that your screen should have. Usually Windows knows very well what's the recommended resolution of your screen. So choose recommended and from there you can tweak to make text bigger or change things if you don't like it. You also have colors, color settings. You have color management. Color management will help you basically tweak and create profiles to calibrate screens. Depending on what you do with your computer, you might want to do that. There's color calibration. You know, this will help you change the colors of your screen to match more precisely maybe the reality of things. Maybe you print out stuff. You want to have the possibility to have this, what looks, you know, the colors on your screen will be exactly the same colors on paper, for example. Then you have related settings like clear type text. Clear type text is text uh, that kind of adapts to your resolution and your display. Uh, clear type was invented to adapt and make sure that the text looks nice even on higher resolution screens, for example. Uh, then you got advanced sizing of text and other items. This brings you to the control panel. You have all sorts of uh, things you can change, title bars, menus, message boxes, palette, icons, tooltips, and you can choose its size. And you can actually put a little check mark, say, I want to have it bold. And then you apply the settings. So this will further help you in trying to make text and icons a little more uh, easy to see, especially on very, very large screens that have extremely high resolutions. And finally, display adapter properties will bring you to the um, properties that you have uh, for your adapter. So basically, whatever adapter you've got, monitor, color management, and of course, in here, I've got a catalyst control center. So all the settings for everything you need on the display is in here. It's something that, you know, you should tweak. If you find the text is too small, if you find your icons too small, if you find there are things you want to change, this is where a lot of what's happening on your screen is, is, is going to be um, in the settings. So check it out. And we will, of course, be uh, talking a little more sometimes on separate videos on, you know, doing specific tasks. So I hope you enjoyed this series on checking out each item in the settings panel in Windows 10. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, let us know. If uh, you like our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, um, and hopefully you will continue watching our videos in this series on the settings panel of Windows 10.